yeah this this week has been a nightmare hope you guys are doing great welcome back to my channel that feels better than ever to say after the hot mess that has gone on on my youtube channel over the past week i didn't know if i would be saying that on this channel again after all that has happened so as you can tell by the title this video is talking all about how my youtube channel got stolen got hacked almost a week to the day from the day that I'm filming this video. And if you're one of my subscribers and you happen to see this random Tesla Elon Musk live stream coming randomly from a channel in your subscription feed was probably very confusing. I am going to tell you guys the story of how I got hacked. And if you're someone that also creates videos here on YouTube, maybe you can learn from some of my mistakes so that you can know what to look out for. And if worse comes to worse, if you get hacked as well, some of the steps you can take to hopefully recover your YouTube channel. So as many of my longtime subscribers know, I've been making videos. I had shortchanged myself a couple of years because it's been so long that I didn't realize I thought I'd been making videos for 10 years. You guys, during this whole process, I had to look up the date when I actually first started making videos. I've been making videos, this will be my 13th year on YouTube. So it's been a long time. So when I got hacked, the first thing that I thought was all this time, all this effort, all this building a community over a decade, gone in an instant, gone just like that. And it just made it seem so hopeless and it made me feel very just at a loss of what to do because the process was not easy. So I got hacked on January 11th at 9.23 p.m. It all happened in real time, like in front of my eyes. There was nothing I could do. It's like immortalized in my memory, unfortunately. But the actual hacking began earlier that morning. So I got an email from what I thought was YouTube. It was a copyright warning and in all the time I've been on YouTube I've never had any sort of warning or anything like that from YouTube. So I didn't know number one what format that such an email would come to. Number two I was nervous because copyright infringement copyright warnings are very serious. So I was like oh shit what am I gonna do? What is this about? The email said that your channel has received a copyright infringement complaint if moderation confirms the infringement, your videos will be deleted and your channel will get a strike. If you guys aren't aware with YouTube, if you get three strikes, your channel is completely deleted. I think you can maybe appeal it, but from what I've heard, it's like a three strikes and you're out thing. It's very, very difficult for your channel to be reinstated after you get three strikes. So when I saw that, I was very, very nervous. I got this email at like 10.23 that morning. It listed a video of mine and everything. So this is the actual email. And down at the bottom here, this horrible little button that says open full report. This is where I invited the hackers to totally ruin my life for the last week. The paragraph before this button says, read the full report in the document at the link below. If you have not seen the report in this way, you can't complain about the moderation solution. And right there, if I had taken a few more passes through this email, that would have been a huge red flag. The way that is worded is not professional. In this way, you can't complain about the moderation solution. That's weird. That sounds just not like the type of language that YouTube would use. And plus the fact that they use can't instead of cannot. These are things that my English majored brain should have picked up on, but I just saw a copyright warning. I saw a channel deleted and I got nervous. So I ran right to my computer. I clicked open full report right here and it led me to these files that were like zipped and I'm not a very techy person but I usually am like pretty diligent about like the basics but this time I definitely wasn't as diligent as I should have been and I'm like this is a lesson for sure. But there were two zipped files that I had to unzip to get the full report and there was no report. There was absolutely nothing. I was just like, okay, that's weird. So I called my best friend and told him about what happened. He was like, did you click on a link? I was like, yes. He was like, why did you click on a link? At this point, nothing was wrong. I clicked on the link, there was no report whatever and usually throughout my day youtube is on in the background youtube is my main source of entertainment I use it to go to sleep at night so fast forward to 9 23 p.m i was getting ready to actually edit a video for my channel and i had my youtube stuff on in the background and all of a sudden it just stopped 
I was like, that's weird. I was like, are we having internet issues? What's going on? And then I looked on my phone, my Gmail account, your password has been changed. Your recovery email has been changed. New two-step verification. All this stuff had been overwritten and changed completely within a minute. The emails were back to back to back to back. So my best friend was comforting me on the couch and I was looking up solutions. I didn't know where to turn because again, there's no customer service email. I have no access to my channel anymore, which was my lifeline to any sort of YouTube support. I looked up this guy's channel and I'm gonna give him credit right here because he pointed me in the right direction because I didn't know where to start. I just felt so just powerless, like what am I gonna do? He recommended tweeting YouTube. I do not like Twitter. I do not like Elon Musk. And after this situation on my channel, I dislike him even more. Twitter was the way to go to get YouTube's attention. So I made my Twitter account. I tweeted them at Team YouTube. They're the ones that are kind of like there for troubleshooting. So many other people were having the same hacking issue. So I tweeted them about an hour after everything happened. They told me they would send me a DM. So this is where it gets into me kind of like reaching out to them repeatedly to get help. So I have my dates written down so I can be really accurate with my experience because I know that while I was going through this very, very recently, one of the things that made me so concerned was that it seemed like other people were getting their issue resolved much quicker and the more time that was going on that I wasn't getting my channel back, the more damage that was being done to it. And we're gonna get into that because there has been some damage done. The more time that went on, the more freaked out I was. The next day towards the afternoon, I tweeted them just like, hey, just wanted to get an ETA on when I might be receiving that DM. I still didn't hear anything. Then I did a third tweet on the 13th and by this point, like there had been some major negative movement on my channel. At the point when I sent that first and second tweet, I think my channel was still there. It was still intact. My profile was still up there, my banner, my videos, just I couldn't sign in. But by I think maybe towards the afternoon of sending that second tweet, I think, my channel was completely changed over to that stupid Tesla Live BS. The hacker had the audacity to be live streaming from my channel. So once I saw that they completely just rebranded my whole channel into this ridiculousness, I sent them another tweet. Each one was a little more like frantic. <laughs> Still didn't hear anything. So by day four, I was glued to their Twitter account throughout this whole few day process. And I was seeing the other people who the same thing happened to them were getting their channels back already. They already had access. And by this point, I'm not gonna lie, you guys, I was getting a little pissed. I was like, WTF, why haven't I even gotten the DM to get this process started? So I know they are swamped. I know they have so much going on, but just seeing the other people were already like back on track. Why aren't you guys responding to my tweet? And you can't send them a message. Oh no, no, no. They, they're smart. They know that they'd be inundated with messages. So you can just tweet them. But if you're going to be initiating the message, that's not going to happen. Team YouTube does not accept messages. I tried. By day four, this is Sunday, my channel was hacked on Wednesday. I was like, can someone please, in all caps, help me recover my channel of over 12 years? I have not heard from you guys. I have not got this DM to get the process started. Like, please can someone get back to me? That was the calm version. In my head, it was very different what I wanted to say. Finally, they sent me a DM and there's a link to a form that you fill out when this happens. So you're basically supposed to provide as much information as you can. Some of this information is locked behind your profile. So if you haven't already somehow written it down, it's like, how am I gonna get this stuff? So lesson learned again, I'll be writing all that stuff down somewhere so that knock on all the wood because I don't want this to ever happen. This took like six months off my life. I feel how stressful it was. So there's really not much you can do besides fill out the form and then just wait for them to do what they need to on the back end. And being that I'm a very small YouTube channel, I also felt like I didn't really have numbers on my side to really get their attention. Like I don't have a verified check mark next to my name or anything like that. So I just felt like, oh my gosh, like I'm gonna lose my channel. All this that I've tried to build over such a long period of time is just gonna be gone. So I was just freaking out this whole time. My poor best friend, like 
I was at something fun to deal with last week, I'm sure. The night it happened, I drank a full bottle of Moscato to take the edge off because I couldn't sleep. I was so stressed. So I sent them the form back around midnight on Monday. And Monday was a holiday, so I didn't expect them to get back to me. And plus, to maintain some of my sanity, I didn't check the email for the response because I was just checking and checking stuff constantly through this process. I felt like it was just like making me just, it wasn't good. I took a little break from it. Lo and behold, they did get back to me much sooner than I thought they would so once they got back to me I checked a few different things made sure that this like waste of space was no longer anywhere on my channel I changed things back but I noticed I couldn't get into my YouTube channel and a few of you messaged me that you were looking for some of my videos and my channel was gone and you were trying to warn me about the hacking so thank you I really appreciate it if you guys happen to be on my channel during this period this is probably what you saw this nine times out of ten when they're doing this scam is what they change it to but once i let them know that i still couldn't get into my youtube channel they looked again on the back end and i got a final email that said that everything was restored everything was back i should have done a few different things number one i shouldn't have clicked on anything i let the fear of what does this mean for my channel have me make the rash decision of clicking and opening that link and clicking that stupid see full report button. Number two, I should have sent the screenshot of this email to YouTube. I was nervous at first because all my videos were not there. I was like, where are my videos? <laughs> like I have, I think almost 400 videos and I don't have access to all of them. So I spent the night last night making those videos public and because I had a lot of videos, it took some time. I alluded earlier that there was some damage done to my channel. Throughout this process, I lost 208 subscribers and as you might be able to tell when I'm making this video, I don't, I'm not the biggest channel with like a million subscribers that might to them you know they might not even notice but for me 208 subscribers is a lot of progress a lot of people I'm sure that when people saw this random Tesla live thing they were like what the hell is this and they just you know unsubscribe so I'm like no but if those people happen to find me again that'd be great I'm hoping that this setback is just setting me up for bigger and better things hopefully with YouTube if you guys can like this video, interact with it, comment, even if it's just an emoji. If you can put some of my playlists on in the background while you're doing other things for like the foreseeable future to get me back in the algorithm, because I'm sure with such a huge loss of subscribers and the fact that my channel hasn't had any interaction in a week, YouTube has probably put me on their like whatever list. So even though it's not my fault, I don't think the AI is sophisticated enough to realize why it happened they just see that it happened so if you guys can go through like old videos of mine leave comments put them on in the background to try to get me back in here that would be amazing if you've seen this video and you also make videos on youtube please learn from my lesson don't open strange links don't download weird stuff if you have questions about the legitimacy of something send a screenshot to at team youtube on twitter and i just wish so many bad things to those hackers the things that i hope happen to them well, probably if I said them right now, I would have to mark this video as for 18 and up. If this is the first video of mine that you're seeing on my channel, again, welcome. I do mostly curly hair stuff, lots of product reviews, travel content, um, water challenges, lifestyle, a little bit of everything. So feel free to subscribe. I would love to have you. Thank you all so much for watching and I am very much looking forward to getting things back on track here on YouTube. I already have my video for next week edited and ready to go. It is all about my 30 day water challenge and what transformations happen to my skin and otherwise. So I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks again so much for watching and until then, take care guys, bye.